hour in the Paracast, the gold standard of paranormal radio. And now, here's Gene Steinberg. So I'll tell you, if you haven't heard after the Paracast yet, that's our premium podcast available to Paracast Plus subscribers, you're really missing something. Because Chris and I spend an extended amount of time talking about a lot of important subjects, such as the fact that he's trying to set up these webcams in the mysterious valley, and we're now being visited by black helicopters. Do you hear them in the background? I'm kidding. But anyway, trying to record what may be unusual events there, but it's going to take a little bit of money to get it going. So if there are any people out there who have some money to burn, you got a big tax refund, or maybe you're well healed and looking for an investment, talk to Chris. Chris, give our listeners a brief idea what we're talking about here, and then we'll get into the contest we're running for yep. the Powercast well, Plus. Well, the San Luis Valley Camera Project is kind of a, a labor of love. I, I've been wanting to do this uh, since the mid-90s when it would have cost about a million dollars. Now, with the cost of technology coming down and uh, the availability of uh, the internet, it can be done for about, well, 50,000, 60,000. And we already have a lot of the equipment. Uh, it's just a matter of finding the right provider and coming up with a budget to be able to pay for high-speed internet so that these cameras can talk to one another. Essentially, it's it's a four-camera setup. In the center uh, at the base station would be an all-sky cam, which allows you a 180-degree view of the entire horizon and the entire sky. And each one of the pixels in that image um, has coordinate data and has a number. And when an event triggers a series of parameters, then that motion uh, sets the uh, record function on. Uh, that quadrant data or the coordinate data is sent by the sky cam to all three of the triangulated cameras, and they all swing around, and together they optically focus on the event. We also want to um, have a recording magnetometer and a recording gravimeter uh, to supplement the uh, visual part of this. Um, if we double the price of the system, we can also have forward-looking infrared FLIR. We also want to have a slaved platform, which will also swing around with the coordinate data with a telescope on it. That telescope will have a blaze grating on it to separate the light into its various spectra so we can analyze the type of energy that these objects are emitting. This is a step forward in, in ufology. This is true field uh, research. This is where we need to go if we're going to make any more headway in this field. Collecting anecdotal reports uh, is not doing the trick. We've been doing it 60 years. This is a positive step in the right direction. So there. <laughs> so there. What you can do here is visit our site, thepowercast.com. Click Contact Us. And if you think you can help or you have ideas, present them. That email goes to me and it goes to Chris. So we'll be happy to hear from you. Let's see what happens. Speaking of doing things, on the Powercast Plus, we have a contest. And the contest is based on an award from one of our members of two memberships, one-year memberships. Normally, they're $50 each. And we'll give away those two memberships to a lucky listener to the Paracast. And here's how you enter. First, join the Paracast forums at forum.theparacast.com, forum.theparacast.com. And there, it gets complicated, but just stay with me here. There, you will see a forum topic or thread called Paracast Plus Membership Gift. And you write a message and tell us why you deserve it. Maybe you're retired. Maybe you're a student. You know, maybe you were laid off from your job. You don't have the extra money to join Paracast Plus. Tell us why we'll give away two memberships. And if you want to find out what Paracast Plus is, go to plus.thepowercast.com. Plus.thepowercast.com. For the rest of you, it's $5 a month, $50 a year, $175 for five years. You will get the After the Paracast podcast that you can't get any other way. Exclusive Paracast Plus members. We also have the ad-free version of the show and a video channel is coming. More good stuff. Plus.thepowercast.com. Plus.thepowercast.com. Now, as you know, one of the most popular pursuits online is internet flaming. People attack one another. It can get very personal. It's not always the most, the nicest thing to see, but it happens to all of us. Well, you know, the companies that register internet domains have what are called new top level domains or a TLD, you know, like .com, .us. Well, they're getting more elaborate now. So as of the end of this month, 
a company called Vox Populi Registry who administer the dot sucks domain. Okay? Dot sucks. I'm serious. <laughs> okay, so you can have like the Paracast dot sucks. It's going to cost as much as $2,500 to register. So if you really want to start the Paracast.sucks domain or MUFON.sucks domain. Hey, don't give anybody any ideas there, uh, Pallywog. Well, you know something? They already have those ideas. They don't need a dot sucks domain. But if you want one and you have $2,500 to waste, there you go. We don't. We'd rather pay rent. We'd rather pay the electric bill. We'd rather buy food. Maybe contribute a few dollars towards Chris's webcam campaign. But dot sucks. Unless someone wants to donate it to us. I don't know. This way we can control the message. Dot sucks. Can you believe it? They're doing this now, of course, to make money. They have all these top-level domains that will only confuse people. All right. Sounds kind of sucky to me. Ba boom. <laughs> Let me recommend you folks go to a blog, Google it, called The Roswell Slides or The Case of the Fraud Prince. That's my old friend Kurt Collins. And Kurt, of course, has been on the show talking about the Cash Landrum case. He administers a site called jimbosley.com. So those who were friends of Jim Mosley want to see his writings, want to learn more about UFO fields, court jester, jimbosley.com. But check out online Kurt Collins' blog about Roswell slides. I mean, if you look over the history of Roswell, there have been hoaxes over the years. Remember the alien autopsy? So the question here is, will the Roswell Slides case end up being another alien autopsy? What about MJ-12 back in the 80s? Does it happen every 10, 15 years? We get a brand new hoax about Roswell. It keeps the interest alive. But if it's a hoax, what does it do to show us what happened? What's the value in that? Just keep watching that little sock puppet. Keep your eyes over here, folks. Hey, hey, see, see these fingers moving right over here? Okay, it's a pen and teller trick then. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Magic so all the heroes. Roswell hoaxes are perpetrated by pen and teller. They're going to sue us now. Yeah. Okay, because they're doing it. But that's the point here where we're seeing all this advanced hype as to how great the Roswell slides might be. And then there's a quote at the end of this very long article from Kurt from Jaime Moussan implying that scientific research will begin after that. Well, what's the point of having an event where we may have a smoking gun for Roswell if the research hasn't been done. I mean, if we, can we just say, okay, maybe these pictures were taken in 1947's claim. Maybe they can determine that. I don't know. I think they can determine when the emulsion was made, but not necessarily when the slides were taken. But maybe they were. That doesn't prove what's in the picture. No. And even if it doesn't look like a mummy, it looks like it might have been a living creature. How do you know? Movie special effects may not have been as good in 1947 or wherever these pictures were taken, but it doesn't mean they couldn't have done it. Anyway, let's move to another topic here. Today's show, and let me explain in the past, we had an episode with Daz Smith back five, six years ago, and he was a fellow who engaged in remote viewing, and he did an experiment with the Paracast, and he had some positive results. You have to listen to the episode and see. I'll tell you more about it later on. Dr. Russell Targ was a guest on the Paracast, thanks to Chris, talking about remote viewing. We've got somebody who claims to have worked with all those remote viewing people, like Dr. Targ and all those other people, Dean Radin, Skip Atwater, all the people famous in remote viewing. His name is Marty Rosenblatt, and he has a website called appliedprecognition.com, and apparently they're interested in making money from precognition, but I don't know. We're going to have to see where this takes yeah, us. That's interesting. Shades of Ed Dames in SciTech. Marty Rosenblatt. Coming next with Gene and Chris, you're in the Paracast.
First came Attack of the Rockoids, and it was a critically acclaimed success. And now there is The Coming of the Protectors. A former military intelligence man is contacted by a space woman in a dream. A dream that turns out to be a nightmare, because evil forces on our distant planet are planning to conquer the Earth. This is gripping science fiction of the classic kind. Attack of the Rockoids and The Coming of the Protectors. Find out more at rockoids.com. That's rockoids, R-O-C-K-O-I-D-S, dot com. So here's what happened. I was placing an order online. The site went down. It took hours before it returned, but I had already placed the order with another company. If your site goes down, you could lose business. And if you have a business or personal site, you'll want to know it's easy to run and it will stay online. At iWeb, your site is hosted on one of the most reliable networks in the world. Talk to a sales rep at iWeb.com. Use the promo code TECHNIGHTOWL for a special discount. Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth, slide into a recession, or at worst, depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divest Investing ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government overextends itself and spends beyond its means? Many investors are turning toward gold as a common sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full-color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800 686 2230 37. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000-year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. You pick up the receiver with your heart racing and sweat dripping from your forehead. You finally muster the courage to dial the number to call into your favorite talk radio show. It rings once, twice, and then... Hello, it's GCN. What's your name and the state you're calling from? Surprised you got through, you squeak out. Jason from Minnesota. Please hold. As you patiently wait for your turn, you begin to daydream about being a famous talk radio host and what it would be like to have your own show. Jason from Minnesota, you're up. Millions of loyal listeners worldwide waiting to call and talk to you. Caller, are you there? Cheering crowds surround you, calling out your name. Jason! Jason! Going once, twice. Okay, we gotta move on to the next caller. You blew it. Huh? Wait, no! Interact with the host you're listening to right now, online at GCNlive.com. Click on the community link, engage with other listeners, ask questions, start debates. Don't agree with the host? Let them know. Be a part of the community at GCNlive.com. Extend your life with Extendovite. Here is what one doctor has to say about Extendovite. I would like to thank you, Don, for making my job so much easier because your products just make it so simple, right? To fool around with a lot of exotic things that don't work. We can just put them on your product and things start to work almost right away. I've had dozens and dozens of patients with uh, heart problems who have corrected them. And what it's doing, there's so much garlic in there that has a yeast killing effect. The yeast is a big problem in the gut, pushes the liver heart. It also has metal chelating effect. And most of the other herbs in there I find that strengthen the arteries. They help to neutralize free radicals. Your remedy close to what we do in our program as you can get as far as one supplement goes. It's working on the, the gut, it's working on the liver, it's working on the arteries. What more can you ask for? To get your Extendivite, call 1-877-928-8822 or visit heartdrop.com. Extend your life with Extendivite. We'd like to hear from you. If you have a comment or question about the Paracast, send it to news at theparacast.com. That's news at theparacast.com. And don't forget to visit our famous Paracast community forums at forum.theparacast.com. On the Paracast this week, we've got Marty Rosenblatt, and he's associated with an organization called appliedprecog.com, and has reportedly worked with a lot of the major figures in remote viewing research. And we mention this because we've done other shows on remote viewing. In fact, I think about a year, year and a half ago, we had Dr. Russell Targ as a guest. So we're definitely interested in how that works. And maybe we can urge Marty later on to try an experiment. Just to tell you, Marty, 
We had a remote viewer on the show five or six years ago, the name of Daz Smith from the UK. And we did an experiment with him and he passed it. So just think about that. We don't want to put you on okay. the spot. But tell us about your background, how you got interested in this and what made you feel you may have some extraordinary abilities. Well, first, I do not think I have any extraordinary abilities personally. I think everybody has some level of remote viewing and precognitive abilities, the ability to see into the future. I got into this general area really based on my interest in things like science fiction, imagining what could be. And then I'm trained as a physicist. I've got a master's degree in physics from UCLA. So I've always had this general interest in psychic phenomena, things of that sort. I then in 1976 saw a paper by Russell Targ and Hal Pudoff from the Stanford Research Institute, which was the first really scientific paper I've ever seen that demonstrated, I thought rather clearly, that some people call it clairvoyant psychic phenomena. They invented a word remote viewing because the government does not like psychic phenomena. And so science for the first time in my experience was really doing a good job of getting into this remote viewing precognition field. That's basically how I got, got very interested in it. And, um, I actually met Russell Targ and Hal Pudoff back in 1976. Well, tell us how you got involved in working with them. Well, I had government contracts with um, agencies like the Defense Intelligence Agency. And when this paper came out, I actually went to the DIA and said, gee, you guys ought to really be following this. I mean, these guys are able to get information, um, you know, at a distance. That's what remote viewing can do, get information at a distance in space and time. And they sent me off to meet them. They wanted an independent scientist to um, kind of evaluate them. It turned out, and I didn't really know this when I first went to them, that they were funding SRI. But so I went and met those, met them, and I was terribly impressed. Um, you know, I told that to the DIA. And that was how I, I first, you know, found out about it. I followed the field. It turned out it was many years later. I started doing workshops in the area of um, what's called associative remote viewing, where you actually make specific predictions about uh, future events. And I did my first workshop with Russell Targ. So we, um, you know, and we built up a relationship. I've done many workshops with him uh, and other people in the field, and we're doing one in New Orleans uh, um, this summer. So I've been active for about the last 15 to 20 years. My initial introduction was way back in 76. I tried to get contracts with the Defense Intelligence Agency, and I was never able to land a contract. But my interest remained, and I actually started doing uh, workshops about 17 years ago. Now, just to be blunt about it, do you have a day job? <laughs> I'm now retired. <laughs> I retired from the physics area um, about you know, 15, 17 years ago. Um, and uh, I've really been devoting myself um, as a scientist to understanding what consciousness and precognition is all about. How is it that you can truly gather information from the future? Not perfectly. And that's what makes this area so difficult and why most scientists, in fact, will not accept the reality of precognition, even though by all scientific standards, it's indeed been shown to be valid. Okay. You raised that question. By scientific standards, how has it been shown to be valid? Uh, Stanford Research Institute, for example, did a whole bunch of studies reported in the literature where they demonstrated that they could 
successfully describe a site in the future, okay, a site that wasn't chosen. So a time A, there'd be a remote viewing prediction of what was going to be seen, say, three hours later. A person would go and randomly choose a location within 20 minutes of Stanford Research Institute after the transcript was generated. And they would then go to a site. Um, they would play around with it. It might be a park. It might be a library. It would be something close by. Now, this is after the transcript is generated. Um, then this transcript would be given to judges who would look at nine possible sites, and they would choose which one they think this one was describing. They typically would get eight out of nine, the judges would eight out of nine times choose the correct site that, in fact, the person went to. So that's called an outbounder precognitive kind of experience. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Well, it, it is. Um, the other thing which is impressive is this associative remote viewing. Uh, there was a guy who just published a paper that made $150,000 by doing binary associative remote viewing. Here, his job is to describe um, one of two pictures. One is associated, say, with the market going up. The other is associated with the market going down. Now, he does that before the market makes its move, of course. And then what they do is, um, based on a match of one side or the other, one picture is associated with up, one picture is associated with down. If he gets a good match with, say, the up picture, then he is basically predicting the market will go up. We're going to have to do our break here in a moment. So sure. let me frame a rather longer question. So can there be any level of control over this ability? And what I mean is those who can do precognition, mm -hmm. maybe guess where the stock market's going. They ought to be billionaires by now because they're able to predict where the stock market's going. They're able to make the proper moves and they're going to be rolling in cash. So if you're able to do this, are you rolling in cash? We're going to ask about that. And it's an obvious inference on what you say. We have Marty Rosenblatt. We're talking about precognition and remote viewing with Gene and Chris. You're in The Paracast. Free from the shackles of corporate America, we're the place for independent thinkers. GCN. Is there a secret UFO agenda? Do strange creatures from the darkest corners of the mind roam the earth? Is there evidence for mind control, time travel, or devious government conspiracies? Find out the inside scoop on the latest conspiracies, paranormal activity, and Freudian phenomena when you subscribe to Tim Beckley's Conspiracy Journal. It's jam-packed with stories, special book and DVD promotions, and the best news, it's absolutely free, sent right to your mailbox. Plus, a bonus free email newsletter sent out every Friday. Simply send an email with your name and address to Mr. UFO at webtv.net. That's Mr. UFO at webtv.net. Find out what they don't want you to know. Attention listeners, SurvivalLife.com is giving away free EverStrike permanent matches for a limited time only. These matches are waterproof and will light in any weather condition, rain, snow, or sleet. It will still throw a spark. Its built-in ferro rod strikes at 3,000 degrees, and it is good for 15,000 strikes. Normally, $15. Today, it's free. Get yours at FreeSurvivalLighter.com. Again, that's FreeSurvivalLighter.com. Hurry, supplies are limited. Visit FreeSurvivalLighter.com today. 
By now, you heard about Bitcoins. But did you know that over 65,000 businesses accept Bitcoins? Listen, if you're already earning Bitcoins or trying to make money in the Bitcoin market, you've got to know BidBit.co. Because at BidBit.co, you can receive Bitcoin by selling your personal items or business products. You heard right. Whether personal or business, you can now buy, sell, and auction your products quickly, easily, and securely at BidBit.co. That's B-I-D, B-I-T dot C-O, BidBit dot C-O. As if chlorine in our water weren't bad enough, now they're adding ammonia? It's true. Some municipalities are now adding ammonia plus chlorine to your water supply. It's a disinfectant called chloramine. But with a trusted Big Berkey water filter, you can keep chloramine out of your water. New NSF EPA certified lab tests show EPA Berkey water filters remove chloramines, pharmaceuticals, BPA, pesticides, bacteria and viruses, all forms of fluoride, and much more. Big Berkey water filters are the original and most trusted on the market. The gold standard in water purification. And our filters last for years at less than two cents per gallon. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get your Big Berkey today. Call 1-877-99-BERKEY or click BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. That's 1-877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. Did you know that drinking pure, high alkaline water is one of the most important factors in maintaining high energy and vibrant health? Most experts agree that the water you drink should be at a pH level of 8 or higher. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops, available only at AlkaVision.com, combine a unique formula of only the most alkaline minerals. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops alkalize your water, ridding the body of harmful toxins, and helps you regain health and energy. Alkalizing your water by simply adding 10 drops of AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops helps the body rid itself of acidic waste, increases oxygen content, and raises the pH of your body to healthy levels. And bacteria and viruses cannot survive in an alkaline high pH environment. Order your bottle of AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops for only $29.95 at AlkaVision.com. That's A-L-K-A-Vision.com. Or call 269-409-1776. 269-409-1776. Alkalize your body. Supercharge your health at AlkaVision.com today. This is Jacques Vallée, and you're listening to the Paracast, the gold standard of paranormal radio. We have Marty Rosenblatt joining us. I'm Gene Steinberg with Chris O'Brien. We'd like to remind you to visit plus.theparacast.com, plus.theparacast.com, and check out our premium service, which includes the After the Paracast podcast, that is exclusive to members of Paracast Plus. You also get the ad-free version of the show. We've got video content coming. It's a modest subscription fee, 5 bucks a month, $50 a year. A five-year program also available, plus.theparacast.com. And we also are giving away two one-year memberships in Paracast Plus. Go to forum.theparacast.com, forum.theparacast.com. Sign up in the forums. Tell us why you think you should win the prize. We're talking about remote viewing and precognition with Marty Rosenblatt. And I asked him a question that may be taken as somewhat humorous, but it's obvious from the inference. So, Marty, are people who can predict the future, especially about the stock market, are they rolling in the cash now? That is just the right on question. You know, if you're so smart, why ain't you rich? My wife me- asks me that all the time. <laughs> And let me answer that because it really puts precognition in its appropriate and and proper perspective. The thing you have to really remember is it is not perfect. As far as we know, there is nobody who is close to being 100% perfect. When we say precognition has been proven. And I gave you an example of Stanford Research Institute. There was a group at Princeton University that reproduced what they did. That is, you know, the scientific method. But understand what they proved. What they proved is that precognition, this ability to get information from what we call the future, works at odds much better than chance would tell you. So maybe the analogy I can give you is 
you know, if someone gave you a coin and you were to flip it a thousand times, you'd expect to get pretty close to 500, you know, 500 heads, 500 tails. Let's say you got 600 heads. Well, you know what? That's statistically significant that that coin is phony. Somebody has weighted that coin. So it's not that you would be able to predict heads every time, but you'd be able to predict it 60% of the time with a loaded coin. Well, precognition is giving you information at numbers like 60% of the time in proposition that would be 50-50. Now, that's actually rather spectacular because it shows that there is some sort of noisy signal, if you would, that will connect you with the future, but it's not perfect. Now, the 60% number is not for everybody. This is where some people are better than others at it. Some people, based on what's going on with them in the moment that they're doing a prediction, will do better, will do worse. We're trying to understand all those sorts of things. But even at 60%, frankly, if you can do 60% over a long period of time, you ought to be able to make a lot of money. But it turns out there's a lot involved in that now. You need to be able to wager rather wisely. We talk about that with our people all the time, wager wisely. And you have to have a perspective of wagering for the long term. Okay, uh, so you're assuming here that if someone is using this ability to earn a living, it's not 100% reliable. You're talking about a 60% accuracy rate. Mm -hmm. So therefore, it may be that a number of times investments will be made that don't come to pass. So maybe if you're going to do this, learn the stock market well, understand the trends, and maybe you'll have an edge. But that's all it can give you is an edge. That's how we feel now, that you get an edge over chance. And that that's a major part of the challenge we're facing. Let me add that we, in fact, have moved our focus to wanting to work with people who are interested in making money, but for the following reason, and this is important to understand. Um, look, I'm old enough now, I've been around long enough now, uh, that my primary goal is not to make a lot of money. Um, I'm in retirement, I've made enough money already, um, I'm doing well, thank you. My interest as a scientist, is to educate society that the world that they normally think of as being the linear time world where you um, cannot get information from the future, where what you do now causes the future, is more complex, more mysterious, and in fact more marvelous than that. Because there is a feedback loop. I think we understand that concept where somehow the future is able to influence what is the present, that the past, present, and future are all connected in this very moment. I mean, that's pretty amazing that I can sit down and do a remote viewing session. I can put information down about, say, a photograph I'm going to see in the future. And I'm getting that information from the future because I have accuracy with that that's much better than chance. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. D Dean Radin uh, has done some very uh, impressive work in this regard, showing that the um, – the human subconscious reacts uh, ahead of time to uh, to stimuli, and um, and he's he's uh, done quite a bit of work proving this that there is a a physiological uh, component to this too as well. Uh, absolutely. In fact, Dean Radin was at our last workshop. Not at he gave a webinar 
um, presentation, an hour webinar presentation at our last um, workshop in Las Vegas. And he is going to be giving another one in um, New Orleans in June. Um, and this one, and, and, and this is so marvelous because it connects health. The title of his talk is going to be Precognition and Your Health. And what he is doing is there are people, in fact, I happen to know one who is a Jungian um, psychotherapist who um, she happens to be in dreams. I don't know the details of his connection, but there are people who have precognitive dreams who uh, maybe just have precognitive feelings. Um, in his case, it was about heart problems. Went to doctors. They just somehow knew there was something wrong. And the doctors found nothing the first few times around. Ultimately, they agreed um, that there was something wrong. So it was like this precognitive ability um, was able to pick up a health issue a get from the body, as you say, before even medical science could do it. Well, wouldn't you think that if somebody has a problem, a health problem, they do sense it in some fashion. This is not something that's invisible, even if it's a problem that isn't discovered yet through testing or they haven't submitted to tests. They know it. The mind knows what's going on. And somehow that might be a feeling of dread. It might be some kind of feeling. So I'm not surprised if a person who is ill senses it. I think, for example, my late mother-in-law in the months before she died realized she was very sick, but didn't give a clue in terms of having symptoms that were unusual. We have Marty Rosenblatt and more to come with Gina and Chris. You're in the Paracast. <laughs> Not just an alternative to the mainstream media. We're the premier independent talk radio network. We are GCN. Attack of the Rockoids has been well received by critics and readers alike. It's a thrill a minute story you'll never forget. A former U.S. military intelligence officer is haunted by intense dreams about a beautiful woman pleading for his help after a terrible battle in outer space. But the dreams turn out to be true and thrust him into a telepathic love affair with a woman whose faraway planet is intent on destroying the Earth. And now the gripping tale continues in The Coming of the Protectors. It's the second book of the Rockoids trilogy, a galaxy-spanning adventure that pits our hapless heroes against powerful, fanatical enemies that threaten the lives of freedom-loving beings everywhere. Attack of the Rockoids and The Coming of the Protectors. Classic science fiction at its best. Available now. For more details, visit rockoids.com. That's R O C K O I D S.com. If the IRS has garnished your paycheck or seized money from your bank account, you need to get professional tax help now. Fast action is required to put a halt to these aggressive IRS collection tactics. You can count on the knowledgeable team of tax professionals at Wall & Associates. With over 30 years of experience, Wall & Associates has settled the tax problems of thousands of taxpayers for a small fraction of what they owed. For a free face-to-face -face consultation, call 1-800-425-4610 to put a wall between you and the IRS. 1-800-425-4610 or look for us on the web at wallandassociates.net. We solve tax problems. If you hire Walland Associates today, you'll never have to talk to the IRS again. To stop the levies and seizures today, take action now. Call Walland Associates at 1-800-425-4610. Wall and Associates. 1-800-425-4610. Based on actual cases, results may vary. Not a solicitation for legal services. 
Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation you control what you watch when you watch it record your favorite shows pause and rewind live tv even skip the commercials watch local channels too at just $19.99 what are you waiting for pull out your major credit or debit card call 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV say goodbye to the cable guy cut costs and get more 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV this alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $35,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet for $35,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Call 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. Hi, this is Bryce Abel. I'm the producer of Dark Skies, the co-author of AD After Disclosure, and you are listening to the Paracast, the gold standard of paranormal radio. With Gene and with Chris, Marty Rosenblatt's joining us, and we're discussing precognition and remote viewing. And I posed a question here about one's own illness that even though tests haven't been made yet, or maybe you don't see symptoms that something is wrong, you know it. Marty? Yeah, and the examples you gave actually make a a, a good point. Whether or not this is precognition in the way that I really mean it, where there's no other way to get the information but an event happening in the future, in this case, your point is well taken, Gene, because there may very well be subtle signs that are going on that consciousness itself in the moment can be picking up in the moment. And so I accept what you said. And in fact, when we have Dean on, I'm going to ask him that question. And I think he'll probably have to say, yes, it may not be precognition in the way we normally mean it. But the whole issue of consciousness is so closely related. All these things are linked together and tangled together, if you will. And my feeling is that consciousness, whether it's connected with health, whether it's connected with pure precognition, is really the unifying element that's going on here. Consciousness is like the fundamental. And what we experience moment to moment in our conscious living day-to-day physical life is coming from something which is even more fundamental than the physical world, time and space somehow come from, you know, the words now fail because consciousness is so fundamental. And yet it's true that the thing that we know more than anything else is this very conscious moment. A future conscious moment is going to be as real as this one. And what precognition shows is that those are in fact connected There's something called the eternal now, where all the conscious moments are somehow all connected and a vague way already out there. So we're part of a universal consciousness then? Absolutely. That's my feeling. That's my belief. And that's why precognition, in my opinion, is so important, because it's, it's 
a kind of a demonstration of that. The fact that we can be connected with the future when viewed as linear time shows that the future is not totally separate from the now moment, that they're entangled in a way which connects everything, this idea of a universal oneness, a universal consciousness. It's a move in in that direction. And yes, the intellect has a very hard time understanding that. And yet the reality of precognition demonstrates that this one mind idea, the idea that there is a universal connectivity with all sentient beings seems to be the way the universe really is, as opposed to one which just goes forward in linear time. So would time itself be an illusion? Yes. In fact, you know, Einstein, I I don't think I can quote it exactly, but Einstein said the only reason for time is so that everything doesn't happen at once. Well, sometimes it seems as if everything is happening at once, but that's another story. Let's get back to something you said earlier on, that you could learn these skills, remote viewing, precognition. Mm -hmm. How so and to what extent? I mean, you personally, what can you do? Um, My batting average is about 55%. I have lots of reasons why I think that's so, but that doesn't matter. You know, one of the things which is very important and which is part of learning about all this is keeping statistics at um, app, the Applied Precognition Project, and that's the appliedprecog.com that you refer to. We actually require all of our members to um, keep statistics through the group that they're a part of. So we've set up groups with people and these groups are making predictions and they're making predictions on sporting events, stock market, things which actually happen so that you can maintain a hit, miss, pass record. And that's how you get your, um, the probability, say, of your next prediction being a hit based on the past record. Uh, So, I mean, it turns out remote viewing and associative remote viewing, all these things go back to the 70s. We are giving workshops. That's one way you can learn it. Again, if you go to appliedprecog.com, you can become part of it. You could learn how to do associative remote viewing there. There are other people who give classes as well. Um, obviously, if you Google remote viewing, you will get lots and lots of hits. Um, we think that keeping statistics are so important. Uh, how many psychics, for example, out there make their yearly predictions, but they never tell you what their ratio of good predictions to the bad predictions are. So you can learn this um, quite easily. And in fact, uh, it would be fun. Geez, I don't know if I can, if we can do this now. But at some point, it would be fun to have um, your audience as a very large group make a prediction about, say, a sporting event going on the next day. And what would be involved would be I could choose a couple of pictures. Um, they would get quiet. I mean, this is really all that is involved at the – there are different levels of remote viewing. But if all you're trying to do is to get the general idea of, say, a photograph, you just need to get quiet, do some quiet meditation, um, clear your mind of the day-to-day stuff, open yourself up to getting information from the future, move yourself to a time when you're going to see this photograph. Get quiet and then take in that information and write it down on a piece of paper. And then online, we could put, we could put the correct picture based on the future. So, you know, what I'm saying is to do remote viewing is actually simple because you, you 
You just open yourself up with a strong intention of gathering information from the time in the future when you're going to actually see the correct photograph, for example. I mean, that's the easiest thing to understand. We call that the feedback time, the feedback session. Now, the critics are going to say, all right, you're getting results a little bit better than chance sometimes. Mm -hmm. But that may not be enough to provide consistent results. As you say, you get 55%. Correct. And that falls within the margins here. So why should anyone take it seriously? I mean, if it was 80%, I'd say, wow, wait a minute. Well, that's what we're actually shooting for, Gene. Um, I've said that um, there's an international remote viewing association. It's called IRVA, I-R-V-A dot com, IRVA. And at one of the meetings, um, you know, this is the place where people who are into remote viewing and consciousness, um, you know, international group, and they give presentations. I publicly stated there that that's the next significant step up is to get to something like 80 percent because then society will no longer be able to deny this and they're going to have to start integrating it into the societal mindset. Um, but we're not there yet. We cannot get 80 percent for long periods of time. We've had 80 percent for short periods of time. So have some individuals. But for this to really make an impact on society, we have to have those kind of um, uh, hit rates over longer periods of time or take a 60 percent hit rate um, over a long period of time and make a lot of money. Uh, well, and, Marty, one, one thing comes to mind here, and that is uh, the bad rap that remote viewing began to receive in the 90s with the, with the likes of uh, Courtney Brown, uh, Ed Dames. Um, there was a, a list of fairly visible remote viewers who uh, were making pretty outlandish predictions and kind of, I think, in many ways spoiled uh, the waters a little bit uh, around the subject of remote viewing. Remember SciTech? I the do. The company that was started by, uh, I think, uh, Ed Dames. Ed Dames, what? right. Okay, we'll take a break here. Then we'll be back with Marty Rosenblatt and Gene and Chris. You're in the Paracast. We are the premier independent talk radio network. The Genesis Communications Network. GCN. St. Patty's Day is coming soon to Guns80.com. My buddy Mark is rolling in clover since Guns80.com announced its clean and green sale. He used his leprechaun-like magical powers to get Guns80.com to offer us a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Now, for a limited time, when you order an AR-15 rifle kit, Guns80.com will toss in a cleaning kit and a tactical bipod pistol grip free, all for the low, low price of $449.95. Go to Guns80.com. That's Guns80.com. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. By now, you may have heard a bit about Bitcoins, but did you know Bitcoins are now over an $8.5 billion market? And did you know that over 65,000 businesses now accept Bitcoins? Listen, if you're already earning Bitcoins or trying to make money in the Bitcoin market, you've got to know BidBit.co. Why? Because BidBit.co is where you can easily receive Bitcoins by selling and auctioning off your own personal items or promote business products and services for Bitcoins. You heard right. Whether personal or business, you can now buy, sell, and auction auction your products and services quickly, easily, and securely for Bitcoin at BidBit.co, the first and only marketplace website to offer BidBit escrow, a proprietary technology which gives buyers and sellers security and peace of mind because all transactions are protected. Start today. It's free to join, free to post, free to auction, and free to bid at BidBit.co. Buy, sell, bid, or auction everything Bitcoin. That's www.bidbit.co. BidBit.co. Yeah! <laughs> 
Welcome back to the Paracast, the gold standard of paranormal radio. And now, here's Gene Steinberg. With Gene and Chris and Marty Rosenblatt, he's not, by the way, going to predict what my next question will be. <laughs> because I have no idea what it's going to be. But Chris was in the middle of framing a question that right. I want to pick up on. Chris? Yeah. So, so Marty, what, when you were listening to uh, some of these predictions that were being made around the mid-90s by Ed Dames, I think one of them was uh, the companion to Hale Bopp was going to spray pathogens on the world's uh, – tropical rainforests and uh, and do away with the lungs of the planet. That was one. Courtney Brown claimed that uh, Mount Baldy behind Santa Fe was filled with aliens from Mars. Uh, I mean, I can go down the list of some of, some of these predictions that really, uh, I, I think, had the uh, the impact and the effect of, of turning people off to the subject. How, how, how do you want to address that, first of all? And then how do we get over those uh, prejudices? I do want to address that because I do believe that hurt the field for um, a long time. And I'm sure in some people's minds, they still see this as, ha, you don't want to touch that stuff. Um, uh, I mean, as you well know, um, many of us call Ed Dames Dr. Doom. And that was because he put out so many of those predictions um, and um, for many, many years, he actually would say his predictions, in fact, were all accurate. And, of course, they weren't. Um, at one of the Irva meetings, he actually recanted that. But, um, you know, th that was more quiet. The fact of the matter is, uh, I think we're over that. We haven't seen much of that in the last – I don't know, maybe five years or so. I don't think you can point to an example like that in recent history. The community has basically turned that off. Um, there are, you know, those people like Joe McMonagle who are still doing great work. He's, um, you know, a professional. Uh, he does online remote viewing sessions. And I think people like him um, and others uh, have hopefully turned that around in terms of the way society, the way a lot of people see the words remote viewing. So, uh, yes, what you what you said, in fact, is true. Uh, and um, well, I, I, you know, that's all I can say about about remote viewing. Mm. My interests, my interests are in associative remote viewing in some ways related to that because in associative remote viewing, you always have clear feedback where in general remote viewing, the kind of um, stuff which a lot of people are very responsibly doing today, sometimes it takes a very long time to get feedback plus how do you evaluate if you know a complicated remote viewing session is correct or not correct if it's talking about, say, finding a missing person, which is one of the really good applications of remote viewing, but you describe a location. Um, but you know there are a lot of locations like that, and it might take a long time to determine whether or not your session was correct or not. Getting back to remote viewing. So the core thing here is that you see something that's happening somewhere else. And the original government experiments were to see, for example, if we could send spies to the Soviet Union or any potentially enemy nation without their being there. But the problem being that remote viewing is not precise enough to do that sort of thing. That maybe it works, but the precision involved in determining events in another location is not there. And then we see here precognition. It's kind of the same problem, that people may have abilities, but the abilities are not refined enough to have a consistent result. But getting back to remote viewing, you mentioned a 55% accuracy rate with precognition. What about remote viewing? Well, that um, I mean, that's a good question. And the 55% was mine. There are a lot of people who are better precognitive remote viewers than me. Um, 
Uh, but in the remote viewing itself, when all you have is a transcript, there people out there who have made the following kind of statement that in their transcript, um, generally 50% of what they say will be accurate when it's a transcript which is on and a transcript might be on 50 to 60 to 70 percent of the time they use numbers like that um but i think the point you're making is 100 percent valid the examples of right on remote viewing sessions are rather incredible um there's a book called remote viewers it's a history of it and there are examples in there where for example joe mcmonicle described the, the soviets building a huge submarine um and the cia didn't even believe them um, um and it turned out to be accurate however there are a lot of other sessions that weren't accurate so how does an intelligence community use this kind of information? Well, you know what? What they do is what they always have to do. When they're asking hard questions, there are always uncertainties, even in the normal way of gathering intelligence. And so they combine this and they have to make their best judgment. Uh, and that is the status. I mean, you know, there are people out there that tell you they're 100% accurate. Do not believe them. Um, that was one of the reasons we got to trouble early on. Remote viewing is remarkable some of the time. Um, and people who are looking for, for missing persons, for example, some of them indeed go to psychics, um, good psychics. And, uh, you know, like I happen to know one that I have great respect for, Pam Coronado, um, but she'll tell you she's not 100% accurate, but she likes to work with police departments. She gives her estimates, um, her remote viewing sessions. They look at them. They try to see if it fits with other information. And guess what? If it begins to fit with other information, they'll then ask her for more remote viewing sessions. So it's kind of an iterative process which sometimes works. She has some great success stories, um, but it doesn't work all the time. And that is the reality. Yeah. Just ask Sean David Morton. Is that name? Well, with bell? Sean David yeah. Morton, it works none of the time <laughs> because well, he never gets anything right. Is he still being chased by the law? I lost track. You know, we've all heard the stories about him. I have not followed them closely and that's the way i will continue you know there are certain people who you follow the ones that you have great respect for um and the ones who you lose respect for i you know just as soon distance myself from them let me take a break here for a moment now on july 20th of last year we featured james carrion he's a ufo researcher and a former international director of mufon well at the time, we talked about his book called The Rosetta Deception, where he claims that those ghost rocket cases were essentially military disinformation or intelligence disinformation. Well, he's continued that research. He's also exploring the Roswell case for a new book called The Roswell Deception. So we've invited him back on the Paracast to talk about his ongoing work and also maybe briefly address a skirmish he had with his former employers over at MUFON when he tried to open a discussion on MUFON's Facebook page. James Carrion is coming back next week on the Paracast. Let's not distance ourselves anymore. We have Marty Rosenblatt. We're talking about precognition, remote viewing, and more with Gene and Chris. You're in the Paracast. <laughs> Do you need a website? Well, you can get a great deal on hosting services with Namecheap's legendary coupon code. 
They're offering substantial hosting discounts on shared hosting, business hosting, VPS hosting, reseller hosting, and even dedicated servers. Namecheap is preferred by millions. It's backed by a money-back guarantee. Use the coupon code LEGENDARY to cash in on the special deal at Namecheap.com, Namecheap.com. First came Attack of the Rockoids, and it was a critically acclaimed success. And now there is the coming of the Protectors. A former military intelligence man is contacted by a space woman in a dream. A dream that turns out to be a nightmare, because evil forces on our distant planet are planning to conquer the Earth. This is gripping science fiction of the classic kind. Attack of the Rockoids and the coming of the Protectors. Find out more at Rockoids.com. That's Rockoids, R-O-C-K-O-I-D-S, dot com. Mike Stennerson for Midas Resources. At no time in history have precious metals been more important, certainly not in my 22 years in the industry. The dollar has lost over 90% of its value in the last 60 years. No fiat currency has ever survived the government printing presses. Ours is not immune. The time is now to be proactive. 1-800-686-2237, extension 116. Anything tied to the dollar is at risk. CDs, annuities, 401ks, IRAs, stocks, bonds, you name it, so decide. Do you want to leave a legacy of wealth or debt for your family? The choice is yours. Call me at 1-800-686-2237, extension 116. That's 1-800-686-2237, extension 116. Be proactive, not reactive. Call 1-800-686-2237, extension 116. As if chlorine in our water weren't bad enough, now they're adding ammonia? It's true. Some municipalities are now adding ammonia plus chlorine to your water supply. It's a disinfectant called chloramine. But with a trusted Big Berkey water filter, you can keep chloramine out of your water. New NSF EPA certified lab tests show EPA Berkey water filters remove chloramines, pharmaceuticals, BPA, pesticides, bacteria and viruses, all forms of fluoride, and much more. Big Berkey water filters are the original and most trusted on the market. The gold standard in water purification. And our filters last for years at less than two cents per gallon. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get your Big Berkey today. Call 1-877-99-BERKEY or click BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. That's 1-877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. Extend your life with Extendovite. Here is what one doctor has to say about Extendovite. I would like to thank you, Don, for making my job so much easier because your products just make it so simple, right? To fool around with a lot of exotic things that don't work. We can just put them on your product and things start to work almost right away. I've had dozens and dozens of patients with uh, heart problems who have corrected them. And what it's doing, there's so much garlic in there that has a yeast killing effect. The yeast is a big problem in the gut, pushes the liver heart. It also has metal chelating effect. And most of the other herbs in there I find that strengthen the arteries. They help to neutralize free radicals. Your remedy close to what we do in our program as you can get as far as one supplement goes. It's working on the the gut, it's working on the liver, it's working on the arteries. What more can you ask for? To get your Extendivite, call 1-877-928-8822 or visit heartdrop.com. Extend your life with Extendivite. We'd like to hear from you. If you have a comment or question about the Paracast, send it to news at theparacast.com. That's news at theparacast.com. And don't forget to visit our famous Paracast community forums at forum.theparacast.com. Just to make this very important, Chris is not predicting what my next question will be either. (laughs) Nor am I predicting what his next question is, but we have Marty Rosenblatt, who doesn't make that kind of claim. So... If a government agency wants to use remote viewers for spying, would the best technique then would be to put a bunch of them in a room and get a consistency of information. So if you got 50 people getting a 60% accuracy, maybe out of the 50 descriptions, they can focus in on something that's close to the reality? I think that's an excellent idea. That works sometimes and it doesn't work other times. We are right at the absolute cutting edge 
of applying the capabilities of consciousness. These capabilities are, I believe, so vast that we are just beginning to touch them and just beginning to learn about them. This is why my focus on precognition, I believe, is um, so important and such a grabber for me because it just forces you to totally change what you believe are the capabilities of consciousness. Your approach is a excellent one, and it's one which are, we are using. We put many viewers on the same prediction for the future. So that's the same as what you're suggesting. And it does work with a higher overall probability, I would say, than just putting one person on. And there was a scientific study by Russell Targ where he did this with two people and he got um, 11 out of 12 predictions correct. What is important here to understand is when you're talking about consciousness, you're talking about personal consciousness, you're talking about a person's whole inner being. What we have found, much to our dismay, is that the long-term record of people tends to go through these dips where they're not doing as well as they used to do. And we don't understand why that is. Um, it seems to be all psychological, but we don't understand it. So this makes applications like you're talking about, even in group environments, probabilistic in nature. We are at the point where applying consciousness, no matter how you're applying it, is probabilistic in nature. And we as a society have a hard time dealing with that. And again, that's the reality. Let me ask you a direct question of reality. Mm -hmm. On the site that you're connected with, with mm -hmm. regard to your organization, mm -hmm. and that's called AppliedPreCog.com. Mm -hmm. Do you have any actual case histories there where you can say, we predicted this event at this time, it's time stamped in advance, and it came to pass? Yes, that's what we do all the time. That's the beauty of precognition. The beauty of precognition is that you make a prediction of something that hasn't happened, that you have no way of knowing will happen in a linear time world. Again, sporting events are really good examples of that. And the stock market and the Forex market, we're doing a lot of attention now in the foreign exchange markets. And what we do is we send out – there are several groups. They do things slightly differently. But in – all cases, the what we call remote viewers, the viewers are contacted generally through an email contact where they're given a tasking. The tasking might involve nothing more than a six-digit number, okay? And associated with that would be a statement like describe and sketch the photograph that you're going to see tomorrow. Actually, usually we give them four or five days notice. Uh, so that puts the tasking out there that is associated with a specific event at that time. It might be a sporting event. It might be a stock market movement. So on the record is what the prediction is going to be. They send back their transcripts, all dated, right? Um, it's saved on our server. It's saved in our computer server. Their specific transcripts are saved. We then put out and give back to them, time stamped, a specific prediction. Okay, so the prediction is now time stamped. The event then comes and we give them feedback. We give them the correct photograph associated with what actually happened. Team A1, uh, um, the stock market went up. Uh, we give them back that photograph, which is time stamped. Um, which also indicates the actual outcome. So the, one of the beauties of precognition and associative remote viewing, which is just remote viewing of future photographs, say, in the simplest terms, um, is all time stamped automatically. 
that's one of the beauties of precognition. All right. So is there a single example you can point to on your site where you predicted some kind of change in the stock market price or other event that was predicted days or weeks or months in advance? Okay. Yeah. I don't know how many of your viewers are um, – uh, I mean, the answer to that is yes, uh, but I'll actually see if I can find one and maybe be able to point them to one. Um, is this okay to use time this way? Sure. Well, while you're doing that, uh, here's a question from one of our listeners. Uh, okay. If you're a listener to the Paracast, of course, you can go to the forum at forum.theparacast.com to our question thread and ask questions uh, ahead of time of our Many esteemed guests that we have here. And this one comes from one of our longtime posters uh, from Germany, Polterwurst. And he's wondering if there's any chance that remote viewing or precognition at some point will be officially recognized by mainstream science in the near future. Right now, it has kind of a, mm, I would say that it's pretty much uh, ignored, I think, uh, in, in most circles. But do, do you ever see this changing? And what would it take to uh, get that final recognition? What you said is accurate. It is not accepted now. The acceptance, I believe, will come. Unfortunately, I have given up on it coming through the standard scientific methodology, which is reproducing experiments, and then people have to change their viewpoint. I believe it's going to come, and this is where we're frankly putting our focus by first convincing society that it's real, where society starts making, ah, God, I, I, you know, it's hard for me to say it this way, but people in society are going to start applying it because it's real and making money. Um, it's all about making money, and, I guess. And, and you see what's, what's, and that's why it's hard for me to say because your reaction is exactly how people react to this. And yet, think about it. Money is what talks to society. It certainly talks to politicians, I'll tell you. Yeah. We've got well, Marty Rosenblatt with us, with Gene and Chris. You're in the Paracast. America's largest independently owned communications network, GCN. Graphic Converter is the image manipulation tool for the rest of us. It does not use any database. You get full control of all your files. Want to view the images of a folder? Drag it into Graphic Converter and a powerful browser opens up to show your image files. You could use it for slideshows. You could use it to import images from digital cameras or from scanners. Need to do some image editing? You can do that too in Graphic Converter. Also, print catalogs convert from so many formats, I can't even list them. Download now to see if Graphic Converter is good for you, like one and a half million other users. Guess what? You could save money when you buy Graphic Converter. Use the coupon code NIGHTOWL. Use the coupon code NIGHTOWL to get a special price for Graphic Converter. Go to LemkeSoft.com. That's L-E-M-K-E Soft.com. LemkeSoft.com. L-E-M-K-E Soft.com. Attention listeners, SurvivalLife.com is giving away free EverStrike permanent matches for a limited time only. These matches are waterproof and will light in any weather condition, rain, snow, or sleet. It will still throw a spark. Its built-in ferro rod strikes at 3,000 degrees, and it is good for 15,000 strike. Normally, $15. Today, it's free. Get yours at FreeWaterproofMatch.com. Again, that's FreeWaterproofMatch.com. Hurry, supplies are limited. Visit FreeWaterproofMatch.com today. It's no secret that government and big business buy in bulk and get huge discounts not available to the little guy. Until now. Introducing a breakthrough crowd-buying website where people can join together, buy in bulk, and get massive discounts on millions of popular products. It's Togethersave.com. Togethersave.com. You can save 20, 30, or even 50% off tablets, smartphones, cars, appliances, textbooks, sports equipment, video games, and much more. All with free delivery. Check it out. Togethersave.com. Visit now and start group buying today at Togethersave.com. 
The freeze-dry guy, leader in the preparedness industry for 44 years, is closing his California warehouse. Don't miss out on this huge warehouse sale and receive discounts from 30 to 40% off on the finest mountain house and packaway brand freeze-dried and dehydrated foods for long-term food storage or even everyday use. Plus deep discounts on all in-stock survival gear. The freeze-dry guy is offering a wide selection of freeze-dried foods in number 10 cans and even individually packaged entrees. Remember, meats, vegetables, fruits, and long-range patrol rations are the main components for any long-term food storage. This is limited to stock on hand, so hurry and call 866-404-3663 or 530-798-4414. Remember, as always, free shipping to the lower 48 states. So hurry up and call 866-404-3663 or 530-798-4414. Remember, this is limited to stock on hand. The freeze-dry guy is your choice for survival food in an uncertain world. The Genesis Communications Network is one of America's premier broadcasters of captivating talk radio. We thank you for listening. Now, now, just imagine, there are thousands of people who are just as passionate about radio as you are. But what you may not realize is how easy and affordable it is to advertise with us. Radio commercials for your business could be heard on hundreds of radio stations across the U.S. every day. We can help you by creating an effective radio advertising campaign for your company. From script writing to producing your commercial just like the one you're listening to right now no other network provides the level of customer service we do when it comes to radio advertising we are your one-stop shop and no matter how big or small your business is we can help email us and advertise at gcnlive.com and an experienced advertising executive will help you take the first step towards driving more customers to your business or website advertise at gcnlive.com easy affordable effective Jerome Clark, author of the UFO Encyclopedia and other books. You're listening to the Paracast. We have Barty Rosenblatt, and hopefully in a few minutes he'll give us some case histories of where predictions of some sort of significant event have come true. We'll no. check it out, see what happens. Maybe get him to make a few predictions here or get some predictions to be made, because I think that's what our listeners would like. I wanted yeah. to remind you again that Back several years ago, we had someone who engaged in remote viewing, Daz Smith, where he produced results cataloged in the forums and on the show that were evidently, quite evidently, far beyond the possibility of chance. That's what made things so fascinating when we had it on the show. If you want to check it out, it's the episode of April 26th, 2009, six years ago, oh, April 26th, 2009, and... It was a listener, Daz Smith, who at that point in time had a site that I'm trying to see right now whether it still works or not, called remoteviewed.com. It's still there, remoteviewed.com. And as I said, Daz Smith did provide some credible results. And I, I have, I don't know why it's silly, it took me so long. If they will go, anybody go to appliedprecog.com. Turns out we just redid our website. So on the top, there is a black bar and there is a <laughs> header there called ARV examples. ARV, as you know, stands for Associative Remote Viewing. Click on that and there are lots and lots of examples, one after another. I'm looking at the first one which happens to be a photograph. Remember, in associative remote viewing, the tasking is to describe and sketch the photo you're going to see in the future, which is randomly chosen actually after you even do your transcript. And you can see example after example there. I'm looking at one now which looks like lamp lights, and they're square with circular bulbs inside. And indeed, the transcript has both rectangles and circles the next one happens to be of an ocean scene with a very descriptive kind of, I don't know. I, I hope some of your viewers can go. These things are hard <laughs> to, to, to describe, but it's got like an opening in a rock. And the words there say things like wavy, open, looking through something which is clearly an opening of some sort, massive land, shore. 
ocean. Okay, but none of these so far are predicting mm-hmm. a significant event. They may show the ability to engage in remote viewing, but it's not predicting a significant event that happened and was predicted days or weeks earlier. Well, the heading here says, provided this session as part of a group we, which is winning entanglement prediction. The event, and you know, I wouldn't consider it significant, but the event was the motion of a a foreign exchange market, probably the Australian dollar versus the U.S. dollar. So this is an example of where you would successfully have made money. And again, Marty, that that kind of brings me to a point that several of our our listeners have uh, noted in their questions. And Mm -hmm. I don't know, what's the uh, how would I how would I put this? Well, you, you know, what are the ethical considerations uh, involved in practicing skills like precognition or using remote viewing in size scale skills for personal gain? Burnt State, one of our main posters, is real interested in your your kind of the the moral of the story here. Are, are, are you worried about invoking some sort of bad karma by taking shortcuts uh, in this regard, or do you do you feel that this is a legitimate tool? that um, shouldn't have any sort of questionable uh, morality or ethical considerations attached to it? A, I believe it is a extremely ethical tool because the universe permits it. And it's 100% ethical. But a very important point related to this is that in our society, we have so much negative... I almost wanted to use the word karma, but we have negative feelings uh, around about money being a bad thing. And people who make money, ah, they must have done something illegal. You know, those stock market guys who are cheating, they're the ones who make all the money. It's just not true. Money is just energy. It's how you use the money that matters. Money is just a vehicle for exchanging things. But I do know, going way back, as far as you can look, you know, shamans used to like to get paid in, you know, chickens, and they don't want to get, you're supposed to be doing this for good. Well, you know what? I believe we are doing this for good. We're doing this to educate society about the reality of the universe. I think that's a very important thing to do. However, if you believe that it is a bad thing to do, don't do it. And one of the things which people need to get over, and I believe it's one of the reasons both some remote viewers, sometime, some people who do associative remote viewing where they know there's money involved, sometimes deep inside them, even though they might not on the surface and intellectually think, Money is a bad thing. You know, we've been raised in a society where there's a lot of emotion and sometimes negative emotion associated with money. And I think that can be part of the noise factor in remote viewing. Yeah, that, that's a good point. Uh, obviously, you try to keep as pristine an environment as possible. And any, any sort of wobble in the force is going to obviously have some sort of impact on the, the quality of the results. So. I guess it would be uh, <laughs> advisable to have your intentions uh, pure and uh, the motive and, and means correct at the same time, because any sort of wobble is obviously going to affect the uh, outcome, I would think. Absolutely. Well, why um, do so many remote viewers and um, and psychics especially have this doom and gloom thing? Polterwurst is wondering why some people seem to revel in predicting t- terrible catastrophes and apocalyptic scenarios. and and some remote viewers seem to be talking about end times. Is, is that a prejudice or do many RVers trying to see the future actually see those types of images? My view on that is we all have our deep inner psyche, right? We have a sense of what this psyche is built up from the moment we were born, how we interact with the physical world, how we interact with other people. There's something deep in us, which is how we view the world. I have noticed people like Ed Dames um, and there are others who, (laughs) 
with a very high probability, always come out with these doom and gloom kind of predictions. And Does I think, he ever get it right? Um, I am sure he can point to one or two cases where he got it right. None of his end of the world ones were right, though. None of his worst ones were right. Thank God. Um, uh, exactly. Thank the goddess. But you understand my point. My point is this is all very personal, coming from inside one's deepest psyche, inside one's deepest aspect of his consciousness. And if a person is inclined that way, what's going to come up is negative stuff. So he needs to get a, a better, more healthy reality view is what you're saying. <laughs> well, based on the number of those, you know, and again, I don't like to get, you know, too personal. You know, what's really important is what each individual person does. And one of the beauties of remote viewing in ARV is it is very personal. And I think to be truly accurate, what you need to do is set aside a lot of the I almost want to call it prejudicial. That's the word that came to mind. Prejudicial comes to mind because you want to get the information from a clean place that connects with the future and doesn't bring in your prejudices about the future. Please don't forget plus.theparacast.com, plus.theparacast.com. Check out our premium service with the exclusive after the Paracast Podcast at plus.theparacast.com. We have Marty Rosenblatt joining Gene and Chris. You're in the Paracast. A little right, a little left, but always independent minded. The Genesis Communications Network, GCN. First came Attack of the Rockoids, and it was a critically acclaimed success. And now there is the coming of the Protectors. A former military intelligence man is contacted by a space woman in a dream. A dream that turns out to be a nightmare, because evil forces on our distant planet are planning to conquer the Earth. This is gripping science fiction of the classic kind. Attack of the Rockoids and the coming of the Protectors. Find out more at Rockoids.com. That's Rockoids, R-O-C-K-O-I-D-S, dot com. So here's what happened. I was placing an order online. The site went down. It took hours before it returned, but I'd already placed the order with another company. If your site goes down, you could lose business. And if you have a business or personal site, you'll want to know it's easy to run and it will stay online. At iWeb, your site is hosted on one of the most reliable networks in the world. Talk to a sales rep at iWeb.com. Use the promo code TECHNIGHTOWL for a special discount. As the new world order continues to tighten its grip on every facet of our lives, we're all asking ourselves, how can we maintain our independence? The answer is clear. Get prepared and you get prepared now. Now the only question left is where do we begin? My Patriot Supply is here to help. Call 800-247-3070 to get started with your 72-hour emergency food supply for only $10. We're even covering the cost of shipping. Are you willing to rely on the government and FEMA in the event of an emergency? Call 800-274-3070 to get started with your 72-hour emergency food supply for only $10. You won't be able to find this deal online, and there is a strict limit of four per caller, so don't wait. Call now, 800-274-3070. That's 800-274-3070. Call right now. Ouch! My back is out again. Hi, Dr. Ortman with Wellspring Spinal Care. If you're experiencing neck, mid, or lower back pain, this information is for you. One of the complaints that I hear is patients receive their typical adjustment, only having to repeat them as the pain returns. Putting the bones back in place is only half of the battle. At Wellspring Spinal Care, we have the entire solution. We use the NUCA approach, utilizing three-dimensional x-rays and gentle touch technology to deliver specific correction. We then design a custom 
custom nutritional supplement program which provides essential nutrients targeting the areas of concern. With a NUCA approach and proper nutrition, you'll be on your way to a faster and more permanent recovery. To get you on the road to wellness, visit DrOrtman.com. That's Dr. O-R-T-M-A-N.com. Or call us today, 952-303-9124. That's 952-303-9124. Wellspring Spinal Care, chiropractic done right. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over six years and serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey Guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light System system today complete with two black Berkey elements for only $231 and the Berkey guy will ship your order free of charge. With the purchase of a Berkey light, the Berkey guy is also offering a set of fluoride and arsenic filters for only $39.99. That's over 30% off the retail price. Call the Berkey guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653 or order online at goberkey.com. That's goberkey.com today. Hey, this is Marie D. Jones, the author of This Book is from the Future, and you are listening to the Paracast, the gold standard of paranormal radio. We have Marty Rosenblatt joining Gene and Chris in the Paracast, and you're saying here that these abilities are impacted by one's outlook, their prejudice. But Marty, how is it possible for anyone to do something without prejudice. That doesn't exist. And you're absolutely right. And that is the big challenge. In the remote viewing field, there's a very important term, very important concept, which is called set aside. And what you do at the beginning is what is referred to as a cool down, something similar to a meditation, where you try to set aside all of your day-to-day stuff, of course, but also anything which is unrelated to the direct entanglement with your intended future target, whatever it is you're trying to describe and sketch. Um, However, this is coming through your psyche somehow you know, it, 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 how much it gets involved with the nervous system. I mean, it has to ultimately get into the nervous system because you write something. It is using your physical body. It's using your physical senses. Remote viewers will sometimes hear sounds, you know, see images, smell things. Um, but how does that information get up to that level? Well, it's going through your psyche. And that's part of what I believe the, actually the most significant part of the training is that you can learn a formal protocol, but it's the internal work of being able to separate yourself from your psyche and the other stuff which is going on that is not relevant to gathering the information. That might take some work and some practice. <laughs> well, it does. It's, it's, it, and it's, tough to, and, it's tough to get your internal dialogue to shut off sometimes. Absolutely. And, and, you know, let me add, I am giving you my best understanding after many, many years of where the key elements are. Other people will say no. I will teach you a technique that's going to tell you all you need to do, and you're going to be really, really good at it. Um, and, uh, you know, some people still believe that. I have just gotten to the point where I believe the next step is the inner work. And what's interesting about it is people who are doing it in our group, actually you enjoy it because what you do is basically watch yourself. You watch the stuff that comes up and you look at the misses. 
you can learn a lot from what came up that wasn't right, as well as you get to see what you did that was right. I mean, the examples on this page are showing, oh, I'm looking at an example now of a rocket ship. I mean, this guy, he was right on in this case. You can look at this. You know, we have a grading score. He was right on. But I bet this same guy with another target got a terrible miss. And he could learn something from that. Why did his consciousness give him something very different? And the people actually enjoy that process because it is another way of learning about your own personal consciousness. You're learning about your own self. You know, if that's something you're inclined to do, this happens to be a very good way to do it. What I'm seeing here, though, and correct me if I'm wrong, is that this is still a practice or an ability that's very imprecise, and we're really far away from developing these skills to a point where they can be reliable. And isn't that the point of it all? That if you're doing remote viewing, you want to know that you get a consistent result. So it has an impact on what you're trying to find out, which is what's going on. Events that may be occurring in another place or in the future. Probabilistics, you say imprecise. Let, let me get you to think probabilities, okay? Um, because it's not 100%. Imprecise kind of implies it's, it's wrong more than it's right. And that is not accurate. It is a methodology which gives results with higher probability than chance. There are some people who for long runs have gotten well over 80%. I have an example of somebody all documented who got 16 in a row correct with some passes in between, but no misses. Um, there are people who right now are doing 80%, but it isn't what I would call long term. We're working to bring together people who feel that they can do better and better at this, and we hope to find people who may very well be able to do 80% long term without any training. But that's where we are. I mean, I'm not going to tell you that the situation is that precognition is precise, even precise at the level of 80% for the long term. It is precise at 80% for short-term runs, um, short-term being, say, 20, um, um, 30, 40, but not 1,000. Uh, and that's just, the, that's just the situation. And that's where we are in what I consider to be cutting-edge science. This is cutting-edge applied science. That's why we call ourselves the Applied Precognition Project. Well, I seem to recall back in 2002, uh, I gave a conference uh, in Colorado, and a woman named Prudence Calabrese uh, mm -hmm. was there who uh, claimed that her group, she had a remote viewing group mm -hmm. in the late 90s, that they had successfully remote viewed 9-11 um, a number of weeks, possibly I think a month or so, before the event occurred. And when word of this got out, she disappeared and was allegedly uh, smacked, you know, gobbled up by the some government agency. And I don't think she's been seen uh, since. Uh, have you heard anything about Prue and what she's I know, up to? I know Prue in passing by being at some conferences with her. I am now working with people who are in Prue's group, several of them. Um, you know, we are sort of love to take people that have gone through various training programs of one sort or another, or, you know, they come and they get trained by us. Doesn't matter um, when you want to apply it. I do not know what her current status are. There are all kinds of, you know, conspiracy stories like the one you alluded to. I do not know the reality of it. I do know she is no longer active. 
She is um, not. Okay. I, well, unless there's still black programs going on or something like yeah, that. She but. was very talented. I took a workshop with her and mm-hmm. and uh, was quite amazed at um, at her accuracy and was amazed at my own accuracy. Uh, oh, I didn't right. think I had a snowball's chance in uh, uh, the blast furnace to <laughs> to, to actually um, you know successfully show that I had uh, the ability to do this. And I, I was quite, uh, <laughs> I was quite surprised that I was actually pretty accurate. And um, that just goes to show you if this old lump over here can do it, uh, pretty much anybody can do it. So it is an interesting uh, subject. And uh, we'd love to devise uh, some, some form of experiment, get you on our forums, devise an experiment, and then go ahead and, um, and uh, play around with it with our, with our forum posters. That, that would be, I think, a uh, a nice interactive way to give people uh, a little bit more of a hands-on experience with this. I would be glad to work with you on that. Absolutely. I think this idea of predicting a future sporting event might be a good one because, um, you know, it's sort of fun. People could watch the sporting event. And well, we've got how- March Madness happening. we got the, uh, the NCAA basketball uh, tournament going on. So yes, we've we got to hurry because the – Shows will be over for the month if we don't move this along. So, yeah, that's a very <laughs> fascinating thing that we can probably hear. That's interesting. That's intriguing to have an experiment. Why don't we see if we can work something something out? How many of your viewers uh, would be on the Internet? The way to do this would be to do it over the Internet. Um, is that something that would make sense? Yeah, with- yeah we have a, a very active forum community that has hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of participants. Okay. Actually, it's several thousand participants, and we have tens of thousands of listeners, probably over 100,000. And they can be encouraged because many of the people who hear the show don't hear it necessarily on terrestrial radio. They hear it online. As we are here with Marty Rosenblatt and Gene and Chris, you're in The Paracast. Independently leading the way for the nation. Compelling talk. For every political persuasion, we are GCN. Are you hungry for delicious, nutritious, rich, and satisfying home-cooked meals? Discover the Vita Clay 4-in-1 Smart Organic Cooker. Unglazed Zisha Clay, an ancient secret that makes this fast multi-cooker so special. Infusing your food with incredible flavors, perfect texture, vitamins, and minerals for your good health. It's a slow cooker, rice cooker, a steamer, plus a yogurt maker. Go to VitaClayChef.com and enter promo code RADIO20 for 20% off at checkout. That's VitaClayChef.com. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit, then carting to a private bank, having it lent back at interest, forcing tax to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Hi, Ted Anderson. I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation you control what you watch when you watch it record your favorite shows pause and rewind live tv even skip the commercials watch local channels too at just $19.99 what are you waiting for pull out your major credit or debit card call 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV say goodbye to the cable guy cut costs and get more 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV Welcome back to the Paracast, the gold standard of paranormal radio. And now, here's Gene Steinberg. So we're proceeding with a possible experiment with Marty Rosenblatt. Set something up in our forums at forum.theparacast.com. That's forum.theparacast.com. 
And we'll set things up there and make sure Marty is signed up as a member of our forums, and we'll work that out with him, where we'll try to see if we could possibly predict a future event with a reasonable degree of accuracy. As I said, we've tried remote viewing before, back in 2009, and it succeeded. So if I sound skeptical, I am, but obviously it works from time to time, which is very important. Chris, you have some more questions from our listeners? Yes, I do, Gene, and uh, they all seem to have uh, the same kind of uh, bent. So we've we've asked a lot of questions, but down through the years, uh, some famous people have uh, made predictions uh, from time to time. I have another question here from our German friend, Polterwurst, and he's wondering, uh, people like Sir Alec Guinness and Anthony Hopkins have talked about their predictions coming true. Any other credible celebrity stories you know of? Do actors or people with unusual creative lives in general have better access to the future? Or could these claims just be a misinterpretation or embellishment? No, I wish I knew more about that. I'm not working with any celebrities, so I don't have any firsthand knowledge of that. My feeling is that they would not have any better or worse chance than anybody else. I think it's very much like any other skill. You know, anybody can learn how to play uh, chopsticks on the piano, um, but how far you go in terms of developing that skill right. depends. You're not going to be playing Chopin concertos anytime soon. Uh, that's right. But you can get to a reasonably good level and one where – you will know you're doing okay if your intention is to do that and you hang out there to do probably as little as 20 or 20 or 30 sessions you can get statistics to demonstrate for yourself that you have this capability and then just like musical talent i think arv talent and remote viewing talent is normally distributed. Those of you who are interested, you know, ought to find out whether or not you've got a good talent in this. No. Now, a lot of this started with government research, mm -hmm. especially with remote viewing. And obviously the attention was there to use psychics allegedly to engage in spying. So we wouldn't have to have people risk life and limb going to other countries. Now, Correct. what's the government doing now? Do you know? <laughs> uh, I do not know what they say is they're no longer doing it yeah. in the 90s. That's the official line. That's the official line. There is, if you Google um, something like CIA uh, remote viewing, Hal Pudoff, he has a paper which summarizes um, a lot of their work at SRI that they did for the CIA. And they now indicate they were able to publish a lot of this because the government got out of it right. and stuff's been unclassified. And that bothers me. Um, I'd like to think that there are programs around where the government is in fact using it because they know better than most how well remote viewing works. Well, you know they're using it in uh, in Russia and probably other countries because they've had a strong interest in these areas for years. You know, Marty, I almost had a psychic wife. But almost? She, almost. She left before we met. <laughs> oh, boy. That's ba boom. Anyway, Chris, before we go on, you mentioned having some success with remote viewing early on. Let's have the specifics, Okay. Yeah, I, I took a workshop with Prudence and uh, with a group of people. Uh, it was an afternoon workshop. It was just you know kind of an introductory thing. And basically, she she had uh, a series of of pictures which she would not reveal to us, but she told us to um, to draw. She gave us the instructions, uh, the protocols of how to how to get yourself into that place. And uh, I, I can't remember exactly what the picture was. I think it was like of an a roiling mass of ants. And Ew. I drew a bunch of dots, uh, little circles everywhere. And the impression I got was looking at skin uh, of like a dinosaur, uh, looking at it very up close. And uh, and when I compared the picture to the photograph of the ants, I was amazed that 
that I even got some of the movement of the uh, the ants, the way they were grouped together and stuff, was uh, fairly accurate, and, I, and that surprised me. I was uh, I was uh, actually quite taken aback by that. I, you know, I can't explain how I was able to do that. I just uh, followed her instructions, uh, tried to keep my mind clear, and just started drawing what the first thing that came to my mind, and that's what came to my mind, and it uh, and it uh, it proved to me that there is something to this, and. I would be very, very surprised if our government doesn't have a but probably very low key and out of the limelight, but uh, some sort of program that is uh, taking gifted people and uh, attempting to develop these talents uh, for the purposes of of all sorts of uh, kinds of intelligence gathering and, and other tasking that um, you could you could see some you know, some talented person really coming through uh, with some some interesting uh, results. So I it it, it wouldn't surprise me in the least if we had a um, a, a functioning uh, remote viewing uh, team right now. I know that uh, there were rumors that they were looking for Osama bin Laden, for instance, with remote viewers. Of course, they, <laughs> it took him a long time. Uh, he probably died in 2002 in uh, Tora Bora, but uh, shh, don't, don't tell anybody. So basically, uh, when they killed him, they didn't kill him. They simply said they did. Yeah, the, the one that they got in uh, Pakistan was probably a double. I mean, that's, of course, the conspiracy theories. But, you know, looking for someone like bin Laden, looking for hijackers, looking for, uh, you know, ISIS commanders, that sort of thing. I, I think that they would, if at all possible, exhaust all means to locate some of these nefarious characters out there. What do you think, Marty? I'm absolutely 100% with you. I hope they have one. I believe they have one because if they don't, the government's even stupider than I think they are sometimes. <laughs> um, uh, tell us how you really feel about your government. <laughs> well, you know, right now, um, you know, we all have our little problems with the government right now. Yeah. I, I want to I follow up, though, if you guys don't mind, because what you talked about in remote viewing and making a comparison with a picture may be exactly how we ought to do it with your audience. Because in associative remote viewing, there's something called self-judging. Imagine if people in your audience were given directions just exactly like you were. In fact, you could even give them the directions to just get quiet and describe what they're going to see after the playoff for the um, College Mad Madness uh, basketball, okay? So right after that game, you're going to show them a picture on a website, your website, my website. You know, we come up with the website. They are going to do their transcripts. Now, then, and ahead this of time. is Right, no. Yeah, yeah. On a show. We're going to do a show and we're going to take them ahead of time, a week before or whatever, ahead of time. They're going to do their transcript um, with the tasking to de describe and sketch a picture they're going to see in the future. Now, just like you then made a good comparison with one picture, which is the way we always start out with remote viewing, now imagine if they were supposed to judge against two pictures, one would be, um, we could probably do over under rather than team A, team B. Um, one picture would be for over 190 points, whatever the odds makers are going to give for that. The other would be for 100, under 190 points. Um, and there would be two pictures. And all of your viewers would then independently do the judging on their own transcripts and they would then send in, did they think it was picture one or picture two? Let's go into more of this in our next segment, setting up an experiment for members of our forums at forum.paracast.com. We have Marty Rosenblatt with us and Gene and Chris, you're in the Paracast. <laughs> Neighbors, are you tired of dealing with a slow web hosting provider? Well, check out A2 Hosting and their screaming fast Swift server platform. They even have SSDs that load pages 300% faster than the competition. Ready to give your site a speed boost? Well, tell you what, neighbors, head on over to a2hosting.com. 
That's A2, that's number two, A2hosting.com. Check out their Prime Hosting account. And get this, neighbors, they're even giving you an exclusive 25% off discount for all our listeners. 25%. And remember, their Guru Crew support team is standing by 24-7, 365 days a year to answer any of your questions. Now, to get the discount, use the coupon code GENE when you check out. Gold, it's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-2237 for the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As Good As Gold can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800-686-2237. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation you control what you watch when you watch it record your favorite shows pause and rewind live tv even skip the commercials watch local channels too at just 19.99 what are you waiting for pull out your major credit or debit card call 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV say goodbye to the cable guy cut costs and get more 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV Most people know that drinking pure high alkaline pH water is the most important factor in maintaining high energy and vibrant health. Most experts agree that the water you drink should be at a pH level of 8 or higher. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops combine a unique formula of the most alkaline minerals. Using Plasma pH Drops is the best way to make your water alkaline to help you get rid of acid and regain your health and energy. Simply put 10 drops in the water you drink to raise the pH to a healthy level. Alkalizing water helps your body rid itself of acidic waste and increases the oxygen content of your body. Disease organisms like bacteria, viruses, and cancer cannot survive in an alkaline high pH environment. Order your bottle of AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops now by going directly to AlkaVision.com. That's A-L-K-A-Vision.com. Or call 269-409-1776. 269-409-1776 today. This is Robert Hastings, author of UFOs and Nukes, and you're listening to the Paracast, the gold standard of paranormal radio. With Gene and Chris in the Paracast, we'll tell you in our next segment exactly what we're planning or a closer picture of what we're planning with our test with Marty Rosenblatt. But right now, I wanted to focus, Marty, on something that we touched earlier in the show, and that is training people to become adept at these various skills. So the thing I'm going to ask you first is, are people born with this ability and we just have to tap it? Or is it something that in every case it's developed through training? Uh, No, my belief and all the evidence shows that this is a natural talent you're born with. Uh, We have people who have never done this and right out of the box, they will do great. In fact, that's actually called a type of beginner's luck, and that works in this field as well, where they'll have a bunch of really good sessions. Others won't. Um, And then over time, they, in fact, will start doing better and better. So 
it, it definitely is a natural talent. Sometimes it gets turned off. I think um, parents can can do that to you or friends if they think it's weird, that sort of thing. In terms of the training, this is um, kind of a heavy question because uh, it's rather controversial in the field about whether remote viewing itself can be, quote, trained and can you get better and better at it. And I think the general consensus is you can get better and better up to a certain level. And nobody knows what that level is. My feeling is it's much higher than we give ourselves generally credit for. But the only way to find out is to basically do it. And the associative remote viewing um, approach that we take, where you get turnaround within um, days, generally our people are doing two, three uh, predictions per week. So they get that many turnarounds per week. You build up the statistics and you can kind of modify what you're doing and watch how your hit rate progresses. So we give them charts, things like that they can watch as they do their sessions. There are notes that go on through the internet that they can use to see if there's an association between what's going on with their life and their hit rate. And we've noticed that many, many times. A a person starts getting involved in a divorce, for example, and their hit rate will go down dramatically. So these kinds of associations tend to be very personal. After initial training, you kind of understand the protocol, you understand the idea that you're getting information from somehow inside yourself, the information is coming through you about the future, you then really need to do, in my opinion, kind of the personal work of staying with it watching yourself, watching how you're doing, intend to improve. And when you do your remote viewing session and then you get your feedback, so you see how well you're doing, that's the time when, in fact, you will be able to get hints on how to improve. And we see that happening all the time. Is there Uh, an argument in favor, Marty, of starting real young? There's a feeling here that As children, the process of educating children, the process of daily life kind of destroys a lot of their native abilities or suppresses them. So if we start real early with our children, would that make it easier for them to develop these abilities or at least tap them? I believe it would, and I wish we would do more of that. I wish there were... um places where the schools, elementary schools, would teach these whole ideas that consciousness is a thing you can actually look at and you can you can really get access to even the future, you know, begin to talk at least about things like that. So I think it would be very valuable to do that Um, I don't really see our society being ready for that. That would be a very important indicator that we're making progress in educating our society. I think the biggest problem in our society, especially in America, I think they're screwing up the curriculums of schools. They're worried about giving politically correct versions of things, whether we should even teach evolution. So I think teaching remote viewing or precognition or associative remote viewing is going to be real difficult. Uh, Yeah. uh, um, And yet I I think the vision of that clearly being on the path to uh, what is a true paradigm shift where remote viewing, uh, precognition, telepathy, all of that is taken for granted and integrated in our society. It'll definitely be a very different society. And in that society, teaching about these things will happen naturally at a much younger age. Conversely, how old is too old to learn these skills? You're never too old to learn these skills. Thank heavens. 
<laughs> in fact, I think there's something about um, the older people, if they can drop and if they have too many previous misconceptions, um, that they're just right for it because uh, they're mellower, if you will. And um, I think that the older people could take to this uh, quite well. Um, in fact, we find we find a pretty good distribution. I've had kids as young as 12 or 13 come to workshops, and then you know the older folks, um, I'm even older than us, you know, 80. I think I once had like an 85 year old. Um, you know, so th there's like everything else, th there's a distribution, and everybody. You know, if you're inclined, you really can take to this because what are you doing? You're using your own inner abilities to do something rather remarkable, rather mysterious, connect up with the future. Well, it's one thing if you're older. It gives you something to do, something to expand your skills, and maybe you don't get quite as old quite as quickly. I believe that. You know, this is so engaging and I, I believe it's clear that if you're involved with something engaging, um, that's going to keep your mind uh, and it'll probably even help your body uh, sharper. All right. Well, you know, I'm almost tempted here. <laughs> We're going to, in our next segment, discuss more of the mechanism of setting up this grand experiment to just see what kind of native abilities the listeners to the PowerCast have and whether we could find some positive results. We're not going to prejudge it. You know, we tend to be a little skeptical here in the PowerCast. I'm not going to prejudge what's happening. Chris is not going to prejudge anything. Of course, Chris has already had positive experiences, so it's hardly likely that he would anyway. But we have a couple more segments to spend with Marty Rosenblatt, where we'll explain what we're all about, and we'll give you information about the things he's been doing going forward. More to come with Gene and with Chris. You're in the Paracast. Independently leading the way for the nation. Compelling talk for every political persuasion. We are GCN. Graphic Converter is the image manipulation tool for the rest of us. It does not use any database. You get full control of all your files. Want to view the images of a folder? Drag it into Graphic Converter and a powerful browser opens up to show your image files. You could use it for slideshows. You could use it to import images from digital cameras or from scanners. Need to do some image editing? You can do that too in Graphic Converter. Also print catalogs convert from so many formats i can't even list them download now to see if graphic converter is good for you like one and a half million other users guess what you could save money when you buy graphic converter use the coupon code night owl use the coupon code night owl to get a special price for graphic converter go to lemkesoft.com that's l-e-m-k-e soft.com lemkesoft.com l-e-m-k-e soft.com it's no secret that government and big business buy in bulk and get huge discounts not available to the little guy. Until now. Introducing a breakthrough crowd buying website where people can join together, buy in bulk, and get massive discounts on millions of popular products. It's TogetherSave.com. TogetherSave.com. You can save 20, 30, or even 50% off tablets, smartphones, cars, appliances, textbooks, sports equipment, video games, and much more. All with free delivery. Check it out. TogetherSave.com. Visit now and start group buying today at TogetherSave.com. Hi, this is Larry Smith. Sometimes bad things happen to good people. When the cleaners ruined some special clothing, all they could do was show us a sign that said they weren't responsible. But when they got the letter from one of our Legal Shield attorneys, he promptly gave us a check for $1,152. Worry less and live more with lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com or call 855-340-SAVE. That's 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. As if chlorine in our water weren't bad enough, now they're adding ammonia? It's true. Some municipalities are now adding ammonia plus chlorine to your water supply. It's a disinfectant called chloramine. 
But with a trusted Big Berkey water filter, you can keep chloramine out of your water. New NSF EPA certified lab tests show EPA Berkey water filters remove chloramines, pharmaceuticals, BPA, pesticides, bacteria and viruses, all forms of fluoride, and much more. Big Berkey water filters are the original and most trusted on the market. The gold standard in water purification. And our filters last for years at less than two cents per gallon. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get your Big Berkey today. Call 1-877-99-BERKEY or click BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. That's 1-877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. Extend your life with Extendovite. Here is what one doctor has to say about Extendovite. I would like to thank you, Don, for making my job so much easier because your products just make it so simple, right? To fool around with a lot of exotic things that don't work. We can just put them on your product and things start to work almost right away. I've had dozens and dozens of patients with uh, heart problems who have corrected them. And what it's doing, there's so much garlic in there that has a yeast killing effect. The yeast is a big problem in the gut, pushes the liver heart. It also has metal chelating effect. And most of the other herbs in there I find that strengthen the arteries. They help to neutralize free radicals. Your ram- close to what we do in our program as you can get as far as one supplement goes. It's working on the the gut, it's working on the liver, it's working on the arteries. What more can you ask for? To get your Extendivite, call 1-877-928-8822 or visit heartdrop.com. Extend your life with Extendivite. We'd like to hear from you. If you have a comment or question about the Paracast, send it to news at theparacast.com. That's news at theparacast.com. And don't forget to visit our famous Paracast community forums at forum.theparacast.com. We have Marty Rosenblatt, and we're trying to set up the great experiment. This is the second time the Paracast has done this. Back in 2009, we did a remote viewing experiment with... Da Smith, and it was successful. So now it's about six years later. We have Marty Rosenblatt joining us. He's engaged in remote viewing, precognition, all sorts of things. And he's connected with an organization that is called, I'm going to spell it out, the Applied Precognition Project. Now, here's what we have to do. If you want to participate, you have to sign up with our forums at forum.theparacast.com, forum.theparacast.com. And when you're there, check out the Paracast Plus because we offer a special exclusive podcast called After the Paracast for members. We charge from $5 a month to $50 a year, $175 for five years. So you get that, the ad-free version of the Paracast. People who have said, can you get rid of those ads? That's the way to do it, plus.theparacast.com. And when you join the forum, we'll set up the mechanism with Marty, how we could engage in this great remote viewing experiment to see what happens, see what psychic powers our listeners have. This is no joke. We're going to try to do this as seriously as possible. And we'll continue to discuss it on this episode. Marty? Uh, yeah. What we actually could do, this is actually pretty exciting for me. What we could do is what is just the classic ARV experiment with what's called self judging. So each person in your audience that wants to participate would do a remote viewing session. They would then judge their transcript the result of uh, the remote viewing session would be a transcript typically one page two pages we would want them to spend more than say 10 minutes or so on it because the, the objective would then be to compare that transcript versus two pictures and tell us which one they thought they got a psychic hit on based on it being a good comparison to the picture they're going to see in the future. And then they will then get online and put something as simple as uh, picture one or picture two. Maybe we'll teach them how to rank them, which is what our members do. You know, um, maybe you and I will discuss that. We'll discuss that separately to see if that's more than you want to do. But then we can basically tally it all up. 
and hopefully we will get a strong consensus one way or another, and that'll be our prediction. We'll have more details on this over the weeks as we get this set up. As I said, Marty will be joining our forums and we'll work it out and get input from our listeners. We have some of the smartest listeners of any radio show on the planet. Incredibly, incredibly smart, brilliant people in there. And we want you to join them, forum.theparacast.com, forum.theparacast.com. And let's see where we can take this, how far we can take this, and whether this experiment works. I mean, there's no prejudging here. We could do this and it's not going to work. I wouldn't be surprised one way or the other. But it would be nice to see what happens. Back to to your singular experience, Chris O'Brien, was it ever repeated or was it a one-off? Just a one-off. I never... Except for finding keys um, <laughs> or other lost objects, I don't remote view. But um, oftentimes when I picture in my mind the object, oftentimes I've, I, I couldn't put a percentage on it. But there, there have been quite a number of times where I've pictured the object that I'm looking for in the place where it is. And I go there and I find it. And I think, uh, I think that this is fairly common. I think people... Uh, do this more than they um, than they probably even realize uh, that just picturing something oftentimes puts your cognition in the place of where this particular object, place, per person, or thing is, and uh, and that that to me is a form of rudimentary remote viewing and precognition. Uh, what about just remembering where you put it? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, well, sometimes you didn't put it there. Some, sometimes you're looking for something that somebody else put down. There isn't always that personal connection between you, the action, and the uh, result of the action in terms of where the object is. Um, sometimes, uh, you know, if somebody sets down a screwdriver and you say, where's my screwdriver? I don't know. I put it down somewhere. And you picture it in your mind's eye and then, you know, go to that spot. Now, this is a funny story. Back years ago, when I was still married to Geneva, she mentioned, she read this in a book somewhere, and I don't remember the book, but I remember her talking about that you use certain keywords to jog your memory. So if you lost something, you're trying to find something, you say aloud or think the word reach, which has nothing to do with the toothbrushes my late brother invented, by the way. My brother Wally invented reach toothbrushes for Johnson & Johnson, just to let you know. But anyway, didn't help me any. My teeth are no better or worse as a result. But seriously, do keywords like that, Marty, jog one's memory or get them to concentrate in a certain way? What do you think? Well, sure. I mean, this, again, all gets down to the way consciousness is, um, is put together. And the keywords will definitely invoke something which is very, really personal to that individual. Uh, You know, keywords obviously are different for different cultures, different subcultures. Um, We use keywords in remote viewing um, all the time. Uh, Set aside, for example, is one where you try to get your consciousness to put something uh, um, aside from the information coming from from the future. So, yeah, keywords are keywords are are big. Sometimes um, the collection of words um, can can hurt you. One of the reasons we like to use pictures as opposed to say, why don't we just say uh, uh, team A, uh, well, over and under. Do your viewers, I'm connecting this now with the sports uh, prediction. I'm really excited about wanting to do that because we use pictures which would then be associated with predicting that that game will be over a certain number of points or under a certain number of points. We use two pictures because a tag word like over, um, a tag word like under, why don't we just say to people, tell me, give me your prediction about whether it's over. Well, what happens is these tag words, if they get used over and over again, get connected with things that you might believe inside your psyche. And we don't want that. We want something much more neutral, like a photograph. So, Right. It's like setting up a morphogenetic field in, uh, in the Sheldrakean sense of uh, 
everybody's kind of, uh, if a lot of people are thinking about the same task, uh, sometimes that morphogenic field can entrain uh, participants to uh, to do the same thing. Uh, well, like mon- uh, monkeys. On a well, larger scale, if people are pessimistic about the future, does that dictate what they do? And does that make things worse? If, so if people are really concerned about the economy, even if the economy is supposedly improving, wouldn't that make it worse? I guess part of it is just putting off purchases because you think things are going bad. I No, I, I believe that. Again, I come from a position where the consciousness is the most fundamental. And if you're hanging in pessimism, um, you are adding – mostly to the pessimism of yourself, but you also have an incremental um, impact on the pessimism of all of society since everything is connected. Yeah, you're buying into it and, and strengthening That's right. it. And contrary, in, in the other way, which is a positive other way, if you can get your mind to spend more time on the positive – I really believe that old uh, – oh, I blanked on his name. The Art of Positive Thinking. Who's the guy that did that uh, many decades ago? He wrote kind of the first book on that. Power of Positive Thinking. We'll think about it. Yeah. Marty Rosenblatt is here with Gene and Chris. With Gene and Chris, you're in The Paracast. <laughs> Think alike. The network for the independent minded. The Genesis Communications Network. GCN. Attack of the Rockoids has been well received by critics and readers alike. It's a thrill a minute story you'll never forget. A former U.S. military intelligence officer is haunted by intense dreams about a beautiful woman pleading for his help after a terrible battle in outer space. But the dreams turn out to be true and thrust him into a telepathic love affair with a woman whose faraway planet is intent on destroying the Earth. And now the gripping tale continues in The Coming of the Protectors. It's the second book of the Rockoids trilogy, a galaxy-spanning adventure that pits our hapless heroes against powerful, fanatical enemies that threaten the lives of freedom-loving beings everywhere. Attack of the Rockoids and The Coming of the Protectors. Classic science fiction at its best. Available now. For more details, visit rockoids.com. That's R O C K O I D S dot com. By now, you may have heard a bit about bitcoins. But did you know bitcoins are now over an $8.5 billion market? And did you know that over 65,000 businesses now accept bitcoins? Listen, if you're already earning bitcoins or trying to make money in the bitcoin market, you've got to know bidbit.co. Why? Because bidbit.co is where you can easily receive bitcoins by selling and auctioning off your own personal items or promote business products and services for bitcoins. You heard right. Whether personal or business, you can now buy, sell, and auction auction your product and services quickly, easily, and securely for Bitcoin at BidBit.co, the first and only marketplace website to offer BidBit escrow, a proprietary technology which gives buyers and sellers security and peace of mind because all transactions are protected. Start today. It's free to join, free to post, free to auction, and free to bid at BidBit.co. Buy, sell, bid, or auction everything Bitcoin. That's www.bidbit.co. BidBit.co. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document? Worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average over 19 years of experience, Legal Shield's law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855 340 SAVE. 855 340 7283. Results will vary from case to case. 
Have you ever noticed how many sick and miserable people there are? I'm serious. I'm talking about people of all ages who have conditions and diseases which affect their quality of life. Most of them seem to have one thing in common, polypharmacy. That is dependence on multiple prescription drugs with side effects that actually make them sicker and sicker, not healthy. The good news is that people are waking up to the fact that if you supply your body with all of the nutrients it requires, you will feel better, be healthier, and have a better life. It's important to know that Beyond Tangy Tangerine is the the most amazing, great-tasting, comprehensive nutritional supplement. Besides supplying all the vitamins our bodies need, it also supplies the necessary minerals that are required for the vitamins to kick in. Look, folks, I'm hooked on it, and I think if you try it, you'll become hooked. This stuff really works. That's why I'm urging you to make it part of your daily health regimen. Visit InfoWarsTeam.com to secure your canister of Beyond Tangy Tangerine today. Sign up for auto ship and save on shipping costs. That's Beyond Tangy Tangerine at InfoWarsTeam.com. Hi, my name is Richard Dolan. You're listening to the Paracast. Now, what skeptics will sometimes complain about so-called psychic abilities, Marty Rosenblatt, saying that when they try to reproduce it, say on a radio show, and this happened a long time ago, years ago on the late Long John Nebel radio show. He was the pioneer talk radio host who dealt with paranormal subjects way before there was an art bell there was a long john nebel mm -hmm. and he'd bring on psychics there or people who claimed to be psychic and they would speak of negative vibes they'd say you know what we can't perform here because the atmosphere is negative because john was negative his panel of people was negative so is that really an issue that'd be dealt with here yes and i wish i knew more specifically how to add much to that but i do believe if you know you've got yourself in a place now where you're quiet and receiving you know you have to realize that you're in a receiving mode now if you're feeling negative vibes you should stop because the negative vibes are just going to lead to negative results it's almost like self-fulfilling prophecy, if you will, a kind of almost a kind of precognition, perhaps. No. You don't um, know how refreshing it is, Marty, to hear a physicist use the word vibe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have a model of physics that's called the psi vibrational model of physics. Um, if you guys really want not, you know, some of your viewers really want to get into that, you can um, Google that. That's on another website, p-i-a.com, where I write a, a, about a lot of this stuff. But I happen to think vibrations are the key to everything. Um, as yeah, you know, everything has got a vibratory rate to it. it exactly. And even the, the physicists are now talking about the vibrational models of um, the, the smallest elements in, in nature that they can find. Uh, All right. Yes, I'm a biggie with vibrations. The God particle. <laughs> We're listening to the Beach Boys sing good vibrations. Yeah, you must have found my website. That's on the website. That is the the song I used. Why don't you give them that URL? <laughs> the fact that you use that. you She's giving me excitations. Did that just come out of random? I'm excited that you came up with that. Let me... Uh, well, it was kind of a no no brain leap there. Yeah, I guess so. But I put that on the website. Okay, let me see if I can. Go. Oh, there's there's a several buzzwords that uh, scientists uh, you know they they start breaking out in hives when they hear words like energy and vibe and and uh, words like that. It's, they're so you know general and and just kind of new agey, really um, pop yeah. culture ish. That there uh, it is. Oh, okay. I found it. I, I love the theremin. On that song, I remember when I first. Are you heard hearing it? it? Okay, that's the link. Here's. <laughs> we can't play the song without licensing, so don't uh, okay. don't play don't, it. You have to stop. I don't it. know how to turn it off here. <laughs> Close the site. Close the site. Okay. <laughs> can I sing it though? Can I hum a few bars? You can hum like up to thirty seconds. Okay. Really? That's interesting. But here. Otherwise, what's going to happen is Mike Love of the Beach Boys is going to come down and beat up Chris O'Brien. 
if we don't pay them because he's a nasty guy I hear because you know he's always suing the other beach boys no yeah, but he I does had... he does tm he can't be too nasty I well he I... does nasty tm then tell him just go to p-i-a.com there's a place there where they'll see all the magazines and it's issue 32 okay well when we get you on the forum uh marty we'll have you set up the protocols for the experiment uh, give people a um a list of um, step-by-step instructions on how to participate. And then we'll go ahead and um, we'll start accepting predictions and, um, and precog ideas uh, from our listeners. And we'll uh, in the meantime, come up with a, with a good, um, you know, a good sample idea to, uh, to go ahead and and throw out for everybody to uh, become involved with and participate with. I like, I like the idea of, um, of the final four. Yeah, that will be fun. That'll set our timing. I'm looking forward to that as well. Yeah. This will be one of our most fascinating sessions ever with the Paracast. The fact that we're going to involve you listeners in demonstrating whether you have ability. And if you don't think you do, try it anyway. There's nothing to lose. Yep. But let's see what happens. Let's see how many people get it right. Really yeah. fascinated because we're not checking... Marty Rosenblatt's abilities. We're checking yours. Yeah. If anyone out there can do something. Psychic lurking about, waiting to be released. You said inner psycho. What did you say, Chris? Inner. inner Oh, excuse me. Inner psyche. Yeah. And I don't wear a blue turban and I do not speak in a Hindi accent. Yes, no. (laughs) Maybe I should put on the blue turban and become the great. Pia Medini, psychic extraordinaire. Yes, now, no? my response is what we call in the business twisting in the wind. We're going to let Chris keep going until he feels embarrassed. <laughs> ah, but you must put your brain in the pool before you can make your prediction. <laughs> you know, right now, every Indian listener to the Powercast is going to be complaining. Well, how about Prophet Yahweh? Remember him? He'd, he'd predict when UFOs would show up and then have all the news media there. And then somebody would release balloons a few blocks away. And, hey, there it is. <laughs> Prophet Yahweh. I wonder what ever happened to him, Gene. He said, go away, Yahweh. <laughs> you go Yahweh, I'll go my way. Uh, what can I tell you? All right, let's remind you again how to do this because we're just about ready to wrap up. Go to forum.theparacast.com. If you're not a member, and we've got thousands of members, if you're not a member, you sign up, it's free. You just answer a couple of quick questions. Give yourself a username. It can be, I'd rather it not be your email address because that way everybody knows your email address. You know, you can invent a username. It doesn't have to be your real name. And, you know, this way you can keep yourself private if you want. Join the forum, it's free, and then we'll set up some topic threads where you could post this. And it's going to take a few days. Hopefully, by the time you hear this show, we'll have worked things out with Marty Rosenblatt. We will induce him or persuade him to join the forum and explain the methodology so we know what it's all about. We can talk about it back and forth, see how it works, and we'll keep the listeners posted on the show and specifically more in the After the Paracast podcast. Okay, we'll talk about it more there than here. And that's an inducement because we want you to join the Paracast Plus. I'll tell you how in a moment. But right now, Marty Rosenblatt, would you tell our listeners if they want to learn more about the things that you're doing, where can they check you out? Yes. If if you go to appliedprecog.com, there's just a wealth of information there and uh, for example, you can see the examples of associative remote viewing. You get descriptions of that. So I suggest starting there, appliedprecog.com. As simple as that. I'm looking forward to uh, working with you guys and making this uh, prediction. It's going to be a lot of fun. You can check us out on Twitter, by the way. We're known as the Paracast. Go to Twitter and follow the Paracast, and we may even follow you. 
On Facebook, there are two Paracast fan clubs. Don't get me started about how that turned out to be two, but we'll do our best. We like to give away things that are free, so here's what's be free this week. If you join the Paracast newsletter, sign up for it at theparacast.com. We'll get you a copy of Secrets of the Mysterious Valley by Chris O'Brien. Now, here's another book to give away. We're going to give away copies of Stalking the Tricksters. This is the trend-setting, paradigm-changing book that Chris wrote. We have the ebook version to give away. You have to sign up for a one-year membership or longer at the Paracast Plus. Go to plus.theparacast.com, P-L-U-S dot theparacast.com. We offer the exclusive After the Paracast podcast, the ad-free version of the show, video content coming. If you subscribe for one year or five years, we email you a copy of Stalking the Tricksters from Christopher O'Brien. He's giving away that free of charge. Thanks, Chris. His site is OurStrangePlanet.com, by the way, OurStrangePlanet.com, where you can check out his books and DVDs. Marty Rosenblatt, it's been a blast. Thanks for joining us on the Paracast. My pleasure. The Paracast, featuring Gene Steinberg and Christopher O'Brien, is a copyrighted presentation of Making the Impossible Incorporated. Tune in next week for a new adventure in The Paracast. <laughs>